Viewer discretion is advised. So we ended up talking and she slipped up once again. Shawty gonna tell me she did not shave. I looked at her like, the f you mean you didn't shave? Why did you not shave? All I feel is this girl hand touch my hand and try to take it in her jeans. So now I feel it. I'm like, oh, 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 I slide with Berettas, 50 and OB the pack made weather. I'm the trendsetter that get your bitch wetter. I'm getting cheese, no cheddar. I'm the greatest, nobody better. Nah. I got the diamonds, look how they glitch. She not my bitch, why she geek for a kiss? Niggas they hate and they be on my dick. Lock and low, pop off the Glock. Body gon' fold, watch out with drugs. Yo, what up, Bum Gang? It's Trey, aka Bump, and you watching Bump TV, you dig? Know what I'm saying? I just dropped a banger for y'all the other day. Know what I'm saying? Y'all running it up, and I want y'all to keep just applying the pressure for me, man, because we almost at, hold on, we almost at 900. Oh my god! I just made the Popeye video just telling y'all we almost at 800. We almost at 900? I see y'all want these AirPods, man. We might gotta, hey, feel new. We might gotta throw them AirPods out, man, because, hey, it look like we ready to hit that K. But nah, man, I appreciate the love, man. This is the month right here. This is December. And I told y'all, all December long, I'm going crazy, man. We got the huh, huh. Pedal to the metal, you hear me? But no, man, I noticed something the other day. The story time I did about the fight is going crazy right now. Like, I was just on the on the YouTube app, and I just see it's like, I'm like, oh, I'm at like 4K on it. Like, I was just on like 1K, like. So y'all know I got to give y'all another story time. And I know y'all like, dang, how many stories this boy got? Like, because last story time I did, I was going to say like that was my last one. But then I thought about it, I'm like, hold on. I don't think I ever told y'all about this story time where I almost got Rape. Not bad dude though, not bad dude, but by a female. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the story, man. I know y'all love my story times, and they all be true. That's the funny part about it. So man, we ready to go running up, but before we start, go ahead and bump the lights up and bump the subscribe button up. And go ahead and ring that bell if you new, so you can get notified when I drop a huh, banger. So without further ado, man, we ready to just hop into it, huh? Gang. So, all right, man, we're going to go back to 12th grade year. 12th grade year, I didn't even lose my virginity yet. I was still a virgin. I was a virgin in 12th grade. Fucking loser. So, you know, like I told y'all, I was terrible at school. So, I used to have to go to night school, you know, to make classes up and stuff like that. So, I think I took, like, three night school classes that year. Three of them. That's a lot of night school classes. I had to go on one day. Then the next day, I had to go to a different one. Then the next day, I had to go to the other one. Then the it was terrible. So, after I got the first first two i had one more night school class i had to do i think it was government or some something like that and this night school class was so whack like i i hated i hated the class i hated the teacher i hated it like i i hated it first of all i wasn't even doing work i was cheating like i had a couple homies in there and they'll give me the answers and stuff like that but other than that i was like anti-social i always been that type to only talk to like you know what i mean so i was just in my own lane i was doing my own thing just trying to get up out of there so i realized like it was a lot of females in the class. But most of them was ugly like, and a couple of them was cute. And I tried it with a couple of the cute James, but they won't know nothing. Like it was just one free Jane in there and I was trying to get on, but she wasn't really messing with me. So I was like, damn. Yeah, girl, you ain't gonna mess with me. But you know, I had noticed this one girl, like, I don't know why she caught my attention, but she caught my attention. I don't know, like, y'all ever look at a girl, like dudes, like y'all ever look at a girl and just be like, I don't know why. But I hit that, like, I don't know why, like, I, like, I fuck with that, I don't know. So one day, I was just like, I'm gonna say something to her. So one day, we was in high school, and we would take little intermissions, like, little breaks and stuff like that. So we had took a break, got some food, she was in the hallway, I was in the hallway, and I'm telling my boys, like, I'm ready to pull up on her, like. So, you know, she had walked past, so I'm like, what's up? And she was like, hey, like, with a weird-ass hey, like, it was a weird-ass hey, and then walked away. And I'm like, who the fuck you walking away from like that? Like, who the, I don't know who she thought she was. Bitch thought she was a 10 dime piece. Like, hold on, you a 
seven, chill. So, you know, I'm like, dang, she can Like, I'm like, all right, that's cool. That's come cool. bust it off. You know what I'm saying? I'm bumped. You feel? So, you know, we get back in the class. It's awkward. Like, it's awkward. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. It was like weird tension in the class. So, I think it was the next time we was in high school. And I think my boy was like, yo, I'm gonna put you on with her, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put you on. I'm like, bro, you ain't even got to, for real, for real. But he insisted. So, I was like, all right. Because he knew her. So, I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm not ready to stop you from trying to put me on. So, I was like, I'm gonna let him go ahead and do his magic. So, when we had left night school, he was like, You a lot? And I'm like, A lot? I could have sworn she just carried me, like, and I'm a lot. So, he like, Yeah, talked or whatever. So, I started talking to her, and long story short, I got her number. So, when I got home that day, we was texting, you know, we even got on the phone. You know what I'm saying? She real cool, like, real cool female. Like, she was she was quiet. And you know what I'm saying? She was laid back. So, I'm like, Oh, she cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? So, we had got on the phone, we was chopping up, getting to know each other more. And she slipped up and told me something. She slipped up and told me something, but I ain't paid no math for real. So we was talking, you know, talking to me, you know, I'm gonna get a little freaky. I'm gonna get a little freaky, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to try to know you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your body count? Cause you know, some girls be like, oh, I only got 11. I'm like, oh, ha, ha, 11? Your ass is tripping. I don't even got, like, what? How you got more bodies than me and I'm a dude? That's not good. So, you know, I had, we were just talking and then this girl had slipped up and told me she be making dudes eat her out. And I'm like, what, what you mean? Like, what, so what you thinking this is? like? <laughs> so she slipped up and told me that. I think she said she was a virgin. I might be wrong. Either she is a virgin or she had like one or two bodies, something like that. I don't even remember. So she was just like, yeah, I be making dudes eat me out and they be doing it. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm not that guy. Me personally, I don't even like eating girls out for real. For real. It's weird to me. And it's like I had bad experiences with it. I only ate two girls out. And other than that, I don't be, you know what I mean? You got to be my girl, like my wife. So yeah. I'm just, I just bust that whole shit off. Like, I dubbed that shit. Like, I made her think, like, oh, okay. Like, but no, you not, no. My tongue is not going in you. So, you know, after all that, you know what I'm saying, went to night school, and then it was just up from there for real, for real. I walk in the class, I guess she told everybody we talk or something like that. Like, or my boy had went and was, like, spreading it around. So, everybody, like, oh, y'all, like, no, we want no thing. I wasn't even trying to get with her. I was trying to fuck. <laughs> so after that day, after that night of school, we was why I had walked into um, you know what I'm saying, the office. We had walk, we talk a little bit. And then I don't know how, but we ended up kissing. Cause she had said I had big lips and she wanted to like kiss me. So we ended up kissing and it was just up from there for real, for real. So we had a big test coming up. A big test. Like this is like to decide if you gonna get up out that night school class or you gonna be back in school. Like so you know, I was just like, I'm gonna get this girl to come to my crib. It didn't even take me that long. And I knew what I was gonna say. So I knew we had a test coming up. So I said, shit. You trying to study? Like, you trying to study? Oh, I'm trying to study that ass, dog. I'm trying to study that ass. So, you know, she ain't gonna turn it down. She like, okay. So, you know, her gullible ass. She like, okay, we can study. Like, bitch, you know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> huh? Fuck it. Huh? Bust that Fuck it. So you know what I'm saying? Long story short, she had slid in my crib. So I'm talking about as soon as Shawty pull up to my crib, my stepdad pull up. Now, I don't know if y'all know, my dukes don't like that shit. She don't like when I bring females in, cause she know I'm just trying to, but not with every girl, it's not with every girl though. It's not with every girl, like I'm not, I'm not a hoe. I'm not old. It's just like certain girls you do certain stuff with. He ain't lying. So I'm talking about as soon as she pull up, he pull up. And she was at the front door. So he seen her. He seen her. So I'm like, oh, man, this is a failed mission. But I already told him for real, for real, that we was going to study. Like, I didn't think he was going to trip. So I was like, all right, I ain't, I ain't care. You know my mama. So, so you know, I let her in. I had to creep down low because she wasn't even supposed to be at a dude crib. He, she had told her. Her people is that she was going to a girl house to study. So I had to creep down and open the door for her. So now she in the crib, we downstairs, you know what I'm saying? And we just chopping up for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Before we open up the books. So my stepdad walk in the crib, so I'm thinking he ready to come straight downstairs, like, what the hell going on? But I guess because I told him we was going to study, he didn't really care. So he went straight upstairs and minded his own business. I'm like, oh, all right, I'm ready, you know what I'm saying? So it's just me, her, and my stepdad. Until my sister came. Now my sister, my, my sister Kayla, I don't I don't really care either because she don't care what I do. So I'm just like, all right, that ain't nothing. Then my mom pulls up. Now we got a problem. My mom is at the house. My mom does not play this. If I have a girl over and I don't say I have a girl over, she gonna either embarrass me or she gonna yell at me afterwards. So I'm like, damn, what am I ready to do? Like, so I played it cool. I left it downstairs. Bruh. I left it just in my room. I, I ain't even had the girl. I was just, she was just sitting there. She was just sitting there. So my idea was to go out there and distract my mom. Cause you know, if she know I'm talking to her, she like, why would 
she go in my room? Smart, you gotta play it smart. So luckily, everything started to come my way. My mom was like, she had to take my grandma to the doctor, I think. So I'm like, okay, that's two. Then my stepdad, he just up and left. So that just left me and Kayla. So I'm like, I basically got the free crib. So as soon as all of them left, man, it was go time. I'm not really lying to y'all. I came running down the steps like, like it was Christmas and, and we had gifts under the tree or something. Know what I mean? It won't, it won't about no studying no more. Know what I'm saying? It was never about studying, but it's, it's, it's really not about studying no more. So, you know, I sat down, you know, we looked at a little notes. But after all that bullshit, man, I, I said, you trying to just do something else? Like, I ain't even trying to study for real, for real. Like, so she's like, okay, that's cool. Got to where I want. <laughs> I got to where I want. You feel me? Yeah. So I got to where I want now. Know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why girls do this. I don't know why y'all girls do this. So I had laid back. Shawty at the edge of my bed. I'm like, why are you at the edge of my bed? And she was just like, Looking like Summer Walker at the edge of my bed. I'm like, bro, if you don't get your ass over here. So she said that first, she was just like, nah, I'm okay. Like, I'm like, bro, I got a whole set of pillows right here. You can lay up, chill, and we can watch Netflix. So eventually she came up. So she ended up coming up there with me. And at this point, we was laid up watching, I think, Monsters, Inc. Man, you know how many times I've seen Monsters, Inc.? I don't get no fuck about this movie. So she kept trying to watch the movie. And I'm telling her, like, I've seen this shit a million times. I'm not watching the fucking movie because she kept trying to get me to watch like nothing else just wanted me to watch it I said bro. I've watched this movie so many times. I want you to he he bend that ass over That's what I want you to do. So eventually I know y'all ain't see the public interview I was just saying but this is what it was. How you started off? I bring her closer to me <laughs> and then she just do the rest so I did the legendary method, and you know what I'm saying? She brung that ass to me. Ha! Yeah, man. So now we kissing. Now back to what I was telling y'all about the eating me out thing. I don't know if she really thought I was gonna eat her out, but she had a whole nother thing coming. I was not doing it. So I tried, I think I tried to make my move or whatever. I think I said something, and she was just like, I want you to eat me out. In my head, I'm like, I'm not eating you out. What are you not getting? Like, so she kept trying to convince me to eat her out, and I'm like, no. I told her, nah, I'm not doing it like. So we ended up talking and she slipped up once again. Shawty gonna tell me she did not shave. I looked at her like, the fuck you mean you didn't shave? Why did you not shave? I don't know what be wrong with y'all girls, but when you link up with a dude, you're linking up with a dude, okay? Anything can happen. So you not shaving is fucking everything up. Don't no nigga wanna hear when he fucking like what? And to put my mouth where that shit is, it's trifling. Like, I don't even like doing it. And you having Garfield pussy is not gonna help your fucking situation. I'm not gonna put my mouth on it. So I'm like, all right, what it look like? Like, like how bad is it? Like, how bad does it look? This girl gonna tell me in these exact words, a forest. <laughs> the bitch said her pussy look like a forest. So I have this image in my head like, this bitch got a tree in her pants. This bitch got a bush in her pants. This bitch got my fro in her pants. I'm not going nowhere near it. Do you know how turned off I was, y'all? I was so turned off and disgusted. I was ready to kick that girl out of my house. But you know, me being nice and me trying to try my hand, I was like, okay, I'm gonna let it stay a little bit longer. So then she kept begging me to eat her out. She kept begging me to do it. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. So she starts coming to me now. Like, I'm not doing nothing to the girl. I'm not doing nothing. She comes to me. She's kissing me. She's kissing me. All I feel is this girl hand touch my hand and try to take it in her jeans. Man, when I say I was about to Mike Tyson right hand punch that bitch, I was about to hit her with the Floyd Mayweather combo. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, kick to the fucking face, Liu Kang that bitch. That mean you taking my, that's like me taking your hand and putting it in my in my meat. Like, you don't do that. You don't do that. That's, that's harassment. That's how people get locked up. So she's touching, she grabbing my hand and putting it where it's at. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, no, bro, no. So now she keep begging. She keep begging. Like, she's like, I swear to God. This girl was like, come on, Trey, come on, just for a little bit. Like, she's taking my hand and like, like she, Trey, like, whining. This girl is whining at this point. I'm like, what the fuck? I 
I never had a girl whine to please her. Like, like she's begging me. She's begging me. Like, she was looking like some of y'all niggas trying to get some ass. Like, she was begging, like, please, man. I just need some ass, man. That's how she was acting. Like, y'all know who y'all is. Y'all be begging for the ass. Some of y'all niggas be paying. But anyway, so, you know, me being bump. I tried to like flip it to my side, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, bro, I'll eat you out if you suck my dick. Bruh. Straight like that, like, I'll do it if you suck my dick. You know what she gonna tell me? No. 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 So you think I'm ready to dive in Bigfoot fur and you not ready to give me head? But you want some head. How does that work? So she told me, no, nah. I'm like, what you mean? No, nah. I'm like, you can't, you ain't even got to do it long, you know what I'm saying? Just do it a little bit. You know, I'm not ready to really eat her out. I was just, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get what I want. <laughs> so she like, no, that's nasty or whatever. I'm like, you got some nerve to talk about nasty. So then she started like whining some more like, Trey, just please, please just touch it or just touch it. I'm like, bro, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like, so I don't know if my sister heard all this. I don't think she did because when I told her, she was like, why? You didn't call me in there, which I was ready to do. I was ready to call my sister and whoop her ass because that bitch had a whole nother thing coming. So we chilling again, and then she gets on me and starts kissing me again. And this time she opens her pants. She opens her pants and grabs my hand and tries to put my hand in her pants. So now I feel it. I'm like, oh, 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 ah, 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 ah. I was ready to get that bitch some clippers on that shit. Like, no, I don't want to touch it. No, no, no. So at this point, I'm like, nah, bro, no, no. So I throw her off me, cut. So the girl gonna get up. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, messing with a girl. She gonna get up, go back to the edge of my bed, fold her arms up, and pout. <laughs> Do you not know I laughed dead at her face like like she was a goofy like what are you pouting for? Pouting ain't gonna get you nothing. So she said that mess up laughing at like you mad, you mad, cause you ain't getting no head, you mad. Tell me why Shawty jumps on me again. She jumps on me again and this time she kissing me, doing all types of shit. Try she grabbed my hand again. So now we in the bed tussling. So I flip her again and I said, oh no, this girl gotta go. She really trying to rape me in here. I don't want it. No means no. So I just I said, no, no, no. So I go to my sister room. I said, I lied her. I said, I'm ready to go make something to eat. So she was like, okay. And then she had to ask for something. You're not getting nothing in my refrigerator. What you need is these clippers. Because I'm not giving you nothing else. So I go to my sister room. I'm like, bruh, Shawty is crazy. Like, she's trying to get me to eat her out. And I think my sister had a friend over too. So they like, they weak. Like, they laughing at me. Because my sister know. Like, so I'm thinking like, see, see, I'm on the bump I am now. Like, I, I'm on rude when it came to female. You know what I'm saying? But now I let something like that happen. I'm going to kick you clean out my crib. So I did it the nice way. I had on my boy, not saying no names. I had on my boy, I'm like, yo, I'm, I need you to do me a favor, like. So he like, what's up? And I told him, I need you to act like my dad. I got this crazy girl in my house, and I need you to act like my dad and say she needs to go. So you know my nigga's down the rag. So he like, all right, bet. So I said, all right, give me like five minutes. I'm gonna go downstairs and the phone go, beep. And I'm gonna answer and you gonna, you gonna blame me. So he like, all right, cool. So I said, all right, pet. So I go downstairs, act like nothing happened. I'm sitting down, she's sitting down. I'm eating, she's still waiting on some food. I said, no, nah, you're not getting that. So anyway, my phone start, beep. So I answered the phone. I said, hold on, I'm going to take it. So I, I went outside, like, but I'm outside the door so you can hear it. Phone loud. All you're on the phone is, that bitch need to get out of my house. That bitch need to get out of my house. You're not supposed to have no company. So I don't know if she heard it, but I know it was loud. So when I walked through the door, you know, I had to put on my acting skills. Y'all know I have like 10 Grammys lined up in my room. No cap. I walk in the room like this. My dad said, you got to go home. So I told her, I said, my dad said, you gotta go home. So she like, oh, okay. Acting like she didn't just do some crazy shit, right? Like, so I give it like an hour. This girl is still in my house. I'm asking her like, where you at? Like, where do they live at? Where do you live at? So she like, they shouldn't be too long. Two thousand years later. Bro, it took like an hour to get to my house. It is pitch black now. My, my other sister that came home and my other sister that came here to visit. So I'm like, bro, you gotta get out, bro. Like, what is wrong with you? I was like, bro, I gotta get her out before my stepdad or my mom get home. So after years of waiting, the girl right finally get here. I said, all right, she left. I'm talking about as soon as she left, my stepdad pulled up. So I'm like, Cause bro, if they would have seen that girl in the crib, they would have let me have it. So the next day, we got the class together. So it's awkward, bro. But I'm playing my, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Like, I don't even care about y'all. Like, you know what I mean? Tell me why she gonna go around telling people that I'm crazy. Bitch, what? 
How am I crazy? What did I do to you last night that made me crazy? Bitch, you need to tell them what you did last night that was fucking crazy. You tried to rape me. No means no. No. Like, what is wrong with you? Tell your friends how crazy you are. Tell your friends how you brung the barnyard furball crazy looking cage motherfucker in my crib and thought I was ready to eat you out. So, you know, man, I ain't pay that no man. I told them the story of what happened and that was that. You feel me? So, yeah, we never talked ever since. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it won't no big yeah, anyway, we we graduated from high school like a couple days later, so you know what I mean. I passed the test too, and I ain't do no studying. Hey, I ain't do no studying. I just cheated. <laughs> so you know, I graduated. And yeah, man, that that's it. So yeah, man. Moral of the story: No means no. Boys, if a girl don't wanna do nothing with you, just stop, bro. It's never that deep. Y'all really be out here paying and doing all types of other stuff just to get some ass. Ass is everywhere, bro. It's okay if you don't. I I lost mine after high school. You're supposed to lose it in high school. I lost it after, bro. You can't wait. It's not that deep, bro. Cause as soon as I got out of high school, I started hey, huh, hitting, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah. Females too. If a dude don't wanna do nothing with you, don't force him to do nothing with you, bro. For real. This shit is serious, bro. This is how people get locked up, and this is how a bunch of other stuff happens. Just just don't. So yeah, man, that's it for this story time. This is gonna be one of the best ones because I know y'all ready to be weak off this. I'm gonna keep putting my foot on the gas pedal, giving y'all these bangers all December long because we trying to touch that 1K before the end of the year. And even if we don't make it, man, I'm just so happy like to be a part of the YouTube. I'm so grateful to have people that actually like supports me. And you know, I never had ever, I never had support like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I thank y'all again. And if y'all want another story time, let me know. I'm pretty sure I'll think of something because I've been through a lot. Lot of crazy stuff, but yeah, man, that's it, man. It's bump, and you watch bump TV. Oh, you did it. Riding in tabs with this little hoe, she can't come back, a little bro. Sweet and gas till I'm gone. Bitch, you know I never been broke. Need a pan, I take flight. Feeling like Yachty on high.